while it would be untrue to say the scandal surrounding William Rag has gone unreported, I found a very different tone in the way it was reported as opposed to Angela Rayner. Angela Rayner's issues with capital gains tax and the way it was reported bothered me on numerous fronts. Um, but first, let's go to Mr. Rag. Let's share this Guardian article. Someone can type left, lefty nonsense down in the comment section if they like later. William Rag resigns from two Commons roles after divulging MPs' phone numbers. Tory MP resigns committee roles after apology for role in parliamentary sexting scandal. The Conservative MP who divulged Gottlieb's personal phone numbers to someone he met on a dating app as part of a parliamentary sexting scandal has turned, stepped down from two Commons roles, it has been reported. Imagine how you'd feel if someone divulges your personal phone numbers to people. Not very nice, is it? Sharing personal information like that. It would make you feel most insecure in your own home. And insecure as to where you stood. It would seem to be the mark of someone rather caddish and buffoonish, to be quite frank. William Rag has resigned as chair of the Commons Public Administration and Constitutional Affairs Committee as well, and also quit his post as the vice chair of the 1922 committee. Now, let's have a look at what, how many people are involved. At least 12 men in political circles received unsolicited messages. Rag had faced multiple calls to resign after telling the times that he gave the de details after he had sent intimate pictures of himself saying he was scared and mortified. Now, in fairness, that suggests he himself was being blackmailed and bullied, and the people doing that need to be investigated and stopped as well. The people in the target and attack were said messages from an unknown sin that identify themselves as either Abby or Charlie. The Guardian spoke to one person who was targeted in the exact way by WhatsApp. Um, user calling themselves Abigail or Abby. Now, everybody who has WhatsApp has probably had at some point some stupid spam messages from it. This is you get stupid spam phone calls, but uh, they can get rise to being quite annoying at points. The person sent messages that they had previously met the recipient, such as saying the pair had previously had a flirty conversation. Now, I'm glad to see Rag has resigned, but I'm going to come back to Angela Rayner. Angela Rayner's sort of issues over this capital gains tax, one, they're reported by Lord Ashcroft, a man who has been involved in scandals where £1,500 is loose change down the back of the sofa, um, and also the way it was reported and people commenting on it, there was constant talk about Angela Rayner's chavvy origins and the fact that she was a single mum when young. I thought we'd move past that in Britain that, you know, where where basically there was a, an attempt to sort of portray her as the the council of state part. Really? Are we still stuck in this mentality in 2024 that, you know, in that mentality that uh, where we cannot go past it? Let's be frank, we've got uh, uh, cheating on either, all sides of the house of Commons. And to imagine that Angela Rayner is the only person who's made a mistake or over something like capital gains tax, which can mean or an issue like that is hilarious. Where we've got people like, remember Boris doing up the flat? <laughs> well, Boris seemed to have spent enough money on that flat to have sort of done up, you know, all the flats in a tower block or sort of. And, 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 and all the others, Baroness Moan and all that, where, again, the amount of money involved in Angela Rayner's case would have been loose change on the table. There seems to be a, the whole issue on both sides seems to have drawn up some nasty class divisions and judgments about women that are still present in our society. Rag, I'm glad to see, has resigned. Whatever's going on there, I'd like to see whoever um, undermined him as well investigated. But he should have used better judgment himself in the first place. If Angela Rayner has evaded paying the £1,500, yes, of course you should pay it back. Although capital's gains tax and the old tax issues around that and selling property 
and doing anything can be ferociously painful to work out or anything like that. But it's unpleasant to know that we still live in a society where a woman who comes from a council estate can still be basically characterised as the council estate tarp. And that that we talked of in that kind of reductionist way. There's still a lot more class divide in this society than we'd like to pretend it would seem.